Hello and welcome to this video overview and demo of NetSuite's Dunning Letters module. Two quick slides before we dive into the demonstration. Uh, first, this slide gives a high level overview of how Dunning can help you manage your AR and your collections by improving efficiency and visibility. And we do this primarily by um, flexible rules that automate collection notices. So as your customers are hitting certain overdue thresholds, the system will automatically email them with their statement, their overdue balance. You can attach the overdue invoices and even include a link for them to submit payment right there. So now whichever uh, poor soul is currently responsible for managing collections and accounts receivable, now they can focus on other value add activity and we don't skip a beat. In fact, that improved connection uh, or that improved communication, consistent notifications can end up reducing my day's sales outstanding, DSO, and ultimately improve cash flow, which we all know is, is really critical, especially now. Here's a process diagram covering how this module works. And it starts by setting up uh, Dunning level rules and associated email templates. This is simply the framework that the system uses to determine when to send collection notifications to whom and with what email template. So I can set up for 30, 60, 90 day collection notices, each with a different email template. And then those rules are applied to specific customers or groups of customers uh, via Dunning procedures. Now, once customers have been assigned to a Dunning procedure, um, there are gonna be scheduled workflows to identify customers who qualify for uh, Dunning notices or Dunning messages to get sent out. And then it's gonna automatically send those messages via email if I want it to, or I can have them queue up and then I can uh, hit, hit you know, a button to send them all out on my own if I want to. Um, and then save searches, you know, the module is gonna come with some save searches to help me uh, monitor my AR. So, of course, accounts receivable, customers with pause dunning, uh, average time to pay, all, all going to be helpful in, um, in getting the job done here. Now, switching over into the demo environment, um, and I'm currently logged in as Dunning Director. This is one of two roles that come pre configured out of the box. And this dashboard is going to be pre-configured right to help me manage my overdue receivables so key performance indicators are going to concern those overdue receivable trends average time to pay my email sending queue uh overdue receivables by customers and remember all these links are of course drillable to get down to those detailed reports if i need to as well i'm going to have navigation shortcuts for setup and for uh dunning list quick links save search portlets so I can see recently sent Dunning letters, invoices that are uh, over 90 days overdue, customers sorted by outstanding balance. So I can see my larger customers here, um, although sort by whatever attribute I would want to. And also customers down here, I have, I have a customer who is, has Dunning paused um, for whatever reason, so they won't be receiving those notifications. Let me go ahead and drill in. So I'm going to open up a customer record here for Altima. Um, so here on my customer record for Altima Technology. Now, Altima recently received a Dunning letter in the communication tab. I can see this is that first notice of an overdue payment. Um, and if I drill into it, I can see the email message. So I can see um, friendly reminder. I can see the total outstanding balance. I can have a table where we have a our invoice that is overdue, just a single overdue invoice. Um, I can also include links, either payment link, newer feature to pay uh, with a credit card or, or payment method directly uh, from the email or a link to the customer center. So Altima uh, can go right in and just make that payment. Just one less transaction that I have to go and manually put in the system. We can extend that capability to them. Back on the uh, customer record, I have a Dunning tab now. This is where I'm going to define um, customer specific preferences, like whether I want 
letters to be emailed, printed? Do I want to BCC the assigned sales rep for Ultima Technology? Who on the customer side do I want receiving these Dunning notices? It may not be the generic you know, header level email that we have on file for Ultima. Maybe I want to send them directly to some uh, accounts payable uh, uh, folks over at Ultima. And I can also set up escalation rules. So depending on how overdue or what amount is overdue, uh, we may be sending these notices to, to escalating points of contact over there at Ultima Technology. I can also go into my setup and I can, this is where I can pause Dunning if I want to for whatever reason. So we don't send out those automated emails and then also assign the procedure or see um, which Dunning procedure this customer has been assigned to. Now I can have multiple Dunning procedures, Ultima's on the standard one, uh, but for example, I do have a white glove, you know, Dunning procedure that I assigned to my, um, you know, group of strategic large, large accounts. It's going to be a little bit more, you know, white glove and how those templates are set up, how the notifications are worded. So it allows you to um, treat different groups of customers um, with different, with different Dunning procedures if you want to. Opening up the stunning procedure, this is going to um, define sets of criteria uh, and when these Dunning notices are gonna go out. So this is gonna be a customer Dunning procedure. I can define which subsidiaries, class, department, location um, are going to uh, be the, the base that this is going to be assigned to. I can also create um, a customer safe search. Uh, so, apply this to a group of customers based on criteria that I define. And then in my levels, I have each of the uh, thresholds that I want to trigger a different type of, of notification. So here I have pretty easy example, 30, 60, 90 days. I could also have a Dunning level that is going to send out a payment due notice on the day it's due, or maybe a week before the payment's due. Um, these are, you know, you can define your different Dunning levels depending on your, uh, how you categorize those groups of outstanding customers or invoices. Now for each of these Dunning levels, I'm going to have specific template uh, that is going to support if we need to do multiple currencies, multiple languages, I can do that. These templates are each going to apply to uh, their corresponding Dunning level based on thresholds for transaction amount, overdue balance, and days overdue. That's really the big triggering one here, at least for this Dunning procedure. Now from there, uh, once I create my Dunning procedures, um, I can assign these in bulk to a customer if I want to, or sorry, yeah, I can assign these in bulk to groups of customers if I want to. Um, or I can have the system automatically assign it to customers as customers are created in the system. And then it really runs itself. Uh, all I need to do is monitor my dashboard. Um, and then NetSuite is going to automate the sequences by running an evaluation workflow, which determines which customers or invoices need to be contacted. And then those can go out automatically. Or I can come into my Dunning letter email sending queue. I can see a list of the um, customers that are qualifying, right, for a Dunning notice and, and send it out from here. So it looks like I have um, however, many cust however many customers, I can see the Dunning level that they're, you know, how overdue are they, what Dunning procedure they're assigned to, uh, when that last evaluation date is. So depending on when that evaluation workflow is running to assign them or update their Dunning level, um, I can see that here. And then it's just a matter of marking all or sorting based on these header filters I can apply um, and then sending it. And it's going to send out those emails to each of those customers. 